Exodus chapter 35, verse 3. He shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. So now, you shall kindle no fire in your habitation. Is this talking about fire that you need to see like light in the lamp? Or is it talking about cooking? But in the, in the, in the temple, we were there since day and night. So there was fire. He's talking specifically about cooking. You're supposed to eat cold food on the Sabbath. Read. Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath upon the Lord, unto the Lord. Bake that which you will bake today. And see that which ye see. That means boil what you gotta boil, bake what you're gonna bake, basically prepare your food, be. And that which remaineth over laid up for you to keep, to be kept unto the morning. So what you cook on Friday, you cook double portion so you can have enough to eat on the Sabbath. That's you're right. not supposed to be cooking, buying your salad on the Sabbath. Right. What you're supposed to do, you're supposed to fellowship with your brothers and sisters in the same faith. Right. You understand that? You have any questions? Well, what about what Christ did when they were gathering, the Israelites were gathering? The corn. The corn. Give me, give me the Lord. Everything you say is right. I'm not, but we're also under grace. So if I work give me time on Friday at 6, um, Sunday, that's Sabbath the beginning. So hold up. You say we're under grace, right? Yeah. We're in the grace, but grace isn't justified as sinning now, don't. So that, cooking on the Sabbath is a sin. I'm saying if you don't have, if you cannot have to cook, if you can make a plan to not cook on the Sabbath, then you should do that. But if you have to work and you have no time, we're under grace, we're under sin. No, 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 no. That's not what grace is, bro. Read that. Let's read grace. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. For the, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation, has appeared to all men. So the grace, grace brings us salvation because wow, we're gonna fall short. So grace is put there for a specific great reason to give us a time to get ourselves right. Like if you buy a car and you can't pay it off, you ask the bank for a grace period. That means you get a few months to get your money right. And if you can't get your money right, the car will be taken away from you. That's right. So grace is not, um, you can't use grace as a, as a freedom to sin. I didn't say that. You see what I'm saying? One thing. For instance, like the 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 what you make mention of in in the sense that you got a job, right? Right. And you go to your you go to your um you go to to your boss and you say, listen, I would like to have the Sabbath off. Right. And you know, and he don't want to give you the Sabbath off. Yeah, we cannot teach anybody to break God's right. commandments. So we can't tell you to break God's commandments. Right. You understand? But in that process, you remember with Daniel what he did? When they wanted Daniel to eat the unclean food, he inquired and so forth. And the, and the, and the um, unit tell him, listen, okay, you can eat fruits and so forth, but we ain't got to eat the Babylonian food. Right. It's the same thing today. Right. Brothers got to grow their beard. You understand? You could, you got, you could have some people, you could have certain things sign up from the church saying, Religious purposes, right. you don't work on this day, right. or you, you, you don't want to put your beard. Right. You understand? And there's laws set up where they can't discriminate against brothers and sisters. Right. You understand? So we got to use these things, yes. but we can't use the excuse and say we're under grace, so we don't we don't go yes. to a boss right. and ask him, ask him for the Sabbath off, or we don't. But the you understand what I'm saying? Down. Yeah, when the place become when the yeah, place get we dark. Finish, we usually finish work at six. So are we supposed to ask the party off completely? Well that's what I'm saying. That if you could, if you could if you could get off before six, that yeah. would be good. Yeah. But if not, we are in our captivity and we're gonna yeah. let me get let me get that in judgment for Mr. Right next. Five eleven. Oh you see this right here. Judges five and eleven. Judges, chapter 5, verse 11. You know why we got to be careful also with that spirit? Yeah. Because some people come and they, they, they think that Christ give us the liberty to sin. You're right. That's what the because church that's, is teaching. That's exactly. why I got away from it. That's what the Christian yeah. church is teaching. Yeah. So yeah, we got we to gotta get our people up on that mind. That's get the mind where we're under grace so we can sin. Yeah. 
race is just a time period for you to get yourself right. right. Because in us walking this walk and how long you know you Israel? Three months. Okay, three months, three months you know you Israel, right? Yeah. And you knowing that you Israel, you know you and you you coming you coming into Israel with a lot of baggage. Yeah. All right, with a lot of with a lot of burdens and doctrines and things that you gotta pass behind you. You understand? You might be working on the Sabbath and all of that. You know, all these things are gonna take steps to get these things right. That's right. You understand? It's not some it's not it's not it's not some you just you just overnight you turn an Israelite and you just get all these yeah. things done. Right. So that's where the grace comes in. Alright? I'll read that. Judges chapter 5 verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the places of the of drawing waters. In the places of drawing waters is talking about here in America and all over the earth where we people been slaves. You understand? Drawing waters, that signifies that we are servants. Alright? Right. You know what? There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So it said right now, that's what we're doing. We're rehearsing the righteous acts. You understand? Because if you willingly go in and break the Sabbath now, guess what? You're going to willingly do it for Christ. You understand me? And you're going to be put to death. So you understand that? So we got to be careful with that grace, that word grace. You understand? Grace is just a time period for you to get yourself right. That's all that is. Right, you know, right, you've been right. in this three months. I know there's a lot of things you gotta work on yourself. You understand? Because me coming in here three months, I still had a lot of things I had to work on. You understand? So you, you, right now you are under grace to get yourself right. You gonna make mistakes. And so you understand? But the Sabbath day, the scripture say no cooking. The scripture you mentioned about the, the corn. When the, the servant, did they take the corn and go cook it? No, they did not. They picked the corn and was eating it when it was hungry. You understand? It's like you're hungry and you see an apple. All right? You're hungry. You ain't happy enough for the Sabbath because he had poor people amongst all people that wasn't able to be and you know, so you see an apple. You, ain't, you could pick the apple and eat it. You understand? But it's, some, it's a difference when you, you pick the corn, no, you, you light a fire and you roast in the corn, or you boil in the corn, making some corn soup or something like that. That's different. You understand? So you see that? So they was eating the raw corn because they was hungry. They didn't take the corn and was cooking it. So you see the difference? All right. Go, go to Exodus 16 and 24. Exodus 16 and 24. Exodus chapter 16, verse 24. And they laid it up till the morning, as Moses bade. Verse 23. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. Be done. Unto the Lord. Be bake done. that which you will bake today. Bake what you got to bake today. Meaning, you know, you might want to bake some bread or whatever you got to bake. The most I said, do it today. You understand? Meaning the day before the Sabbath. We right. don't. And see that ye will see. So the word see means boil. Boil that which you should, which, which you're going to boil. We don't. And that which remaineth over laid up for you to be kept unto the morrow. So before the Sabbath come in, you're supposed to boil what you got to boil and cook what you got to cook. You understand? Because the scripture say, when it say, you shall kindle no fire, you understand? It's talking about boiling and cooking. Because the Levites, they, they, they love, they, um, they burn incense. That's what you got to use to burn the incense, fire. They did that on the Sabbath. So when the scripture say, there shall be no, you shouldn't kindle no fire in your habitation, it's talking about buying. Let me buy it. So it's talking about boiling and right. cooking. Right. You understand? Right. So when Christ, when Christ, when, uh, the scriptures say blessed is the man that keep my Sabbath holy so now you want to know what you can do on the Sabbath you can read your Bible you can congregate you see what I'm saying you got to stay in a spiritual realm because think about this what do you do from Sunday to Friday Work, you work, you should do all kinds of things. So why on the Sabbath would you want to continue doing those same things? It doesn't make sense. So that, 
We're driving in time on a week. You don't have no time to read the Bible. So, there's no laws against you watching TV, but why would you want to spend the whole day watching TV? And if you are watching TV, you should watch something that is edifying. Like a movie like Ruth, something about your history. You understand? A documentary that can still put you in a godly realm. But not sit down and watch it, uh, Atlanta Housewives. You see I'm coming from? So I can't pull a law in the scripture that says you can't watch TV, but you should use your, 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 your common sense. So you gotta stay in the spirit. What is the spirit? Because you gotta stay, you gotta always be in the spirit on the Lord's Sabbath day. We're gonna show you what is the spirit. John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The quickeneth, quickeneth been changed. Because as you understand that you are an Israelite, there's still a lot of work needs to be done. Right. So now you gotta change the person that you are. Right. How do you do that? Read. The flesh profit is nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So the words that that's written in this book, they are the spirit of God. And if to stay in the spirit, you gotta be reading this book. Right. Otherwise, people are gonna be feeding you any nonsense they want. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.